Hi everyone, welcome to The Bottom Line at TTG. Today I'm joined by Sierra Reed, our very own marketing director, also my boss. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about how companies can use social media to promote their presence at events. So, let's get down to it. How can a company promote their presence at a show? What are some best practices for them to promote their presence at a show oh, on yeah. social media? Yeah, so I'll give you an example. We just went to Exhibitor Live. And for us, we started social media a month before the event, and that was YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. I may be forgetting one, but at least those five. And we did um, engaging content, you know, video content, um, all sorts of stuff pre-event. And then during the event, we also did a really cool campaign where we printed large food items, like massive, oh, like yeah. we had a giant potato, Try a piece of bacon. We had Guy Fieri's face. Right. Because our booth was a barbecue joint. It was a Texas-themed barbecue joint. And, you know, our staff, we would say, hey, do you want to take a photo with these food items? Tag us on any social media site, and we'll give you a $10 Amazon gift card. And that was a way for us to, at a very cheap price, at a very cheap cost, um, get our name out there on all these different marketing folks' social media sites. It was just great education, brand awareness. Um and so I think being creative, too, at an event, another thing I saw um, at an event before is, you know, Willy Wonka. They had a Willy Wonka themed. They were handing out chocolate bars. You got a golden ticket and then you won a prize. And I see doing something like that in an event. And then for the winners, you take a photo with the company. And then, again, they post on their social media sites because they just won this awesome prize. Why wouldn't they? They'd be so stoked, too post about your company on social media. Yeah, sure. And, you know, going along with that, too, is um, so a lot of the algorithms, which we don't know what the exact algorithms are. Right, yeah. Um, but we do know typically for company profiles, when you publish a post, it's only going to hit maybe 7% of your followers. Yeah. Maybe. Yep. So having personal accounts share your company info, whether it's your employees or attendees walking the show is incredibly powerful Huge. to uh, expanding your your audience, your impressions, your engagement. So that's that's very that's very cool to hear. And everyone loves, you know, selfie selfies. Yes. So having selfie stations or a, you know, a noteworthy moment in your booth, like a cool wall, graffiti wall or something that everyone is going to want to take a photo with. Just organically, you don't even have to offer them a gift card or anything for doing it. But everyone at the show is like, oh, I got to go hit up that booth, take a photo with that awesome wall or whatnot. And then, you know, that's great for your social media exposure at an event also. Yeah. Maybe going down a rabbit trail, but why do you think selfies do so well on social media, especially for, oh, yeah. for events and stuff? Yeah, that's a great question. I think selfies and just humanizing any social media account is the way to go, you know, if I'm buying something from a company, I want to know the the background. I want to know the people that work there. I want to know behind the scenes, the things that I don't get to see. And, you know, the more a consumer can um, form a relationship with your company uh, via the people that work at the company, I think is, is huge. It just humanizes the whole experience. And people want to work with people. They don't want to work with companies necessarily. Right. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a very good point. So would you say... Would you agree with this statement? Agree or disagree? Um, on social media, the most human company wins. Oh, yeah. 100%. Even for the trade group, when we post photos and videos of our team happy hours or lunches or whatever we're doing, Halloween, we had a Halloween costume contest, those get the highest engagement, shares, all that good stuff because, again, we're showing behind the curtain things that people don't get to see. And then I think also that probably goes back to the social media is founding as well as because it was originally invented as a way for for friends and family to just keep in contact with each other oh yeah and and yeah. see those life updates and yeah yeah i think uh, a lot of companies they don't do that on social media they yeah no they, they don't they promote too much right 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 you know so what do you think about um companies using ai to generate social media posts yeah and i think you can do a month's work Oh, for work sure. in two hours yeah i mean that's just the reality of ai i mean you do need to check the ai um and like chat gpt but i you know was on snapchat last night and saw an ai bot on there that you can ask questions and that's brand new um so i do think it is a huge time saver um but again you just gotta fact check and make sure that what the ai is producing and uh, giving to you is accurate information 
It's the only thing. For sure. And we talked about being the most human company as well. And so using AI, I think people's first reaction would be maybe, well, does that go against trying to become a, a human company or presenting yourself as a human company if you use AI? Yeah. I mean, I think media. for like, you know, quick little tidbits, you know, not writing your company's like story and background and their history with AI, but, you know, writing factual content, you know, top 10 trade shows in America, those types of uh, social media content and blog content, I think. All right. So Sierra, so what's the bottom line? Yeah, sure. Bottom line, everyone is using social media. Um, that's a no brainer here. Um, just where you spend your time depends on your consumer market and be creative. You know, we were talking about doing a TTG Cribs video, walking people around the building. That's a creative idea. It's funny. It's a play on the show MTV Cribs. I think that's going to be super engaging because it's creative and doing more video content. And then, of course, using YouTube, LinkedIn, and then any of the other social media sites where your consumer lives. Awesome. Sierra, thank you for your time. Thank you. Everyone, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you really liked what you saw and you got something from it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, where you can get more content.